Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for AwesomeCast.net. This is your mini AwesomeCast for May 14th, 2015. We're going to be talking about Wolf from Alpha and their latest uh, uh, image identification tool. And we're going to see how well that exactly works here on the show live. Uh, but uh, of course, please check out our friends SliceOnBroadway.com, BoldPittsburgh.com, and please uh, head over to AwesomeCast.net later today uh, where we'll be releasing our interview with uh, the, the guy behind Clamor, the 18-second uh, Instagram of audio whatever you want to call it i uh, had a great discussion with him last week we'll be releasing that today and uh, uh subscribe to all that stuff awesome chat mini awesome cast and the awesome cast itself over at awesomecast.net all kinds of links over there to get you guys lined up and it's uh, still rolling out the new awesome chat feeds as well so like i said according to the verge wolfram alpha uh, has created a website that will identify any image you throw at it no 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 this is not new we have google images uh uh a- Amazon has their own version of this they have going on and 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 that's fine but Wolfram Alpha you know if you're not familiar is is a site that uh, is really big on is really big on on mathematics you can go in you can figure out figures it's actually if you use Siri the certain aspects will will uh, come up with results you know uh sometimes information on like the release date of an iphone or something like that is actually in this but also uh, multiplications and and uh how tall is mount everest uh, you know s- uh, facts and figures like that are usually encompassed within wolfram alpha a very big mathematic kind of place so now they're now they have this site and uh a- another just big analytic tool i, I don't know what the you know I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why would you would pick this other than other ones. You know, it, it seemed to do pretty decent, but uh, they did a lot of tests. There's a picture of a cat in a spacesuit that said it was a person. There's a picture of uh, uh, one of the early uh, moon probes uh, that says a cement mixer. It looks like a sloth is a person as well. Uh, Chewbacca is a hunting dog. And, and I did some experiments myself. And, and actually, to show this off, if you guys are on video, you go over to imageidentified.com if you want to try this out. And uh, you just drag your image on the little kind of uh, wolf guy there. So I got a little picture of a basketball here. I'm going to drag it into place. And it's a very simple image, too. So, I mean, I, I think I think that, that helps. And it's still loading. Still, I didn't try this. This is a slower computer, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. But I tried this before with some stuff. I threw I threw complicated images at it, like the cover to Journal of Lifestyle Medicine. Um, it, it thought it was a cereal box, which I could see that because of the formatting of the cover. I threw the cover. It just stuff that was sitting around on my desktop. Uh, the cover to this hardcore legacy DVD, which is a bunch of ECW guys on it, and I threw it in there, and it said Hula Hoop, Hula Hoop. And even now, this is a very clear picture of a basketball and it showed it up as a medicine ball but if you go in there and it does say you know uh it has a definition of what a medicine ball is and and you can tell us how 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 good it is great could be better miss the point what the heck are your options so we're going to say yeah it could be better at least it identified a ball so it is sports equipment okay okay so (laughs) <laughs> so again, it's it's in its early stages. It's one of those things that's going to grow over time, and uh, I think it'd be a lot of fun to. I think it's just kind of fun to experiment, throw some pictures at it, and see how well it does. Uh, just just for a fun little tool. We had some comments, of course. Uh, uh, Will a DJ lunchbox of the Wrestling Mayhem Show panel riot in our new Power Hour podcast that we're doing? Go to SorgatronMedia.com for all those links. Uh, there's something called TriEye that does something similar. Google Image Search does it like this too. I'm curious to see how uh, in depth Wol- Wolfram gets with it. I I think it's very possible that Wolfram could be the best one eventually. Probably, probably not. Not. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And uh, and uh, that is my comments from the peanut gallery for today. But uh, let us know what you think. Are you going to try this out? If nothing else, it's, it's a fun thing just to just for fun, just fun to poke in there and uh, throw some images at it and and compare. I like to I'd love to compare it a little bit more to uh, image image search on Google and, and stuff. Like that. Those don't know. I'm pretty sure if you go to uh, images, let's see. I'm actually in there right now. If you 
it's it maybe it's a little tip for some of you guys. Uh, if you go in here, you notice if you're on images.google.com, here's what I searched for basketball earlier if you're on video. And you know you have a microphone, so if you have a microphone on your computer, a laptop, an iMac, something like that, uh, you can actually do a voice search. And actually, I think it responds to OK Google. But, uh, oh, there it is. It popped up because the sound system's actually ported in there. Um, but also, there's a picture one, too. So we can search by image. Uh, paste the URL so you can grab it from somewhere else or you can actually upload the image so I can actually snag this. Let's see if it lets me upload the basketball. It's probably going to take a while. It's an older computer. Uh, desktop. Do, do, do. Basketball. And let's see, in comparison, how does it do? Now, I got it from Image Search, so it should recognize it as a basketball. And it actually does. It says, uh, best guess for this image, sports basketball, your image size, uh, find other sizes of this image. So we'll actually find that image uh, elsewhere within the search. And then it, and then it comes into uh, NBA, Yahoo Sports, you know, and, and that's handy. If you have a logo or something, I think it does identify logos pretty good because uh, the Google goggles, which used to be, I don't think it still is uh, part of your Google search app on iOS and, and maybe in some fashion on your Android devices as well. I think it's an independent app on your Android devices. But uh, a lot of time logos and stuff, like take a picture of Burger King and it'll give you stuff about Burger King. Uh, take a picture of, of the Pac-Man logo, it'll, it'll show you information about Pac-Man. You know, stuff that, it's some identifying kind of uh, aspects there. So let us know what you think, Wolfram Alpha. You check it out at identify, imageidentify.com, excuse me. And check out everything else going on, awesomecast.net. Do you have an awesome app? website gadget something like that news item that we should be talking about hit us up tweet us at awesome cast uh hit up our awesome cast facebook group there's a lot of conversation happening there and uh of course i'm at sorgatron let me know your thoughts on what we're talking about here as well we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com